Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my dear students. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. René. Hello, Victor. How are you? Fine. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You're doing great. Hey, congratulations, because I saw that you finished the platform. I have nothing to do. <laughs> uh, no, but it's good because you took advantage of the class and that it's fantastic. That it's fantastic because you took advantage of the time and you were able to finish. That's very, very, very nice. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so I think that's what we need to, to do today. Good. So about congratulations. It's a very good thing that you could finish. Hello, Helen. Hello, Lionel. Hello, Rene. How are you today? Hello, teacher. How, how are you, Helen? Mm, fine. <laughs> mm. A lot of work. <laughs> I imagine, right? A lot of work, a lot of work. There were many things to do. Hello, Mr. René, how are you? He's very silent today. Hello, Hello I'm fine. He's fine, that's very good. Excellent. Let's see, very nice, very nice. Okay, we're going to start with the class today. I need to ask you a question. What do you remember from the previous class? Hmm. <laughs> Checking the not. <laughs> what were we doing in the previous class? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hicimos en la clase pasada? ¿Quién se acuerda? Estuvimos uh, repasando los... Uh... Los nombres de los países y Ajá. la pronunciación y tanto como el front como el uh, como la ciudad, ¿verdad? Yeah, las nationalities. That's very good. Ah, it's because Victor had difficulties to enter and he entered at the last minutes of the class. Ah, yes, because I, I was watching the, the game. Ajá, that's why. That was your difficulty. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I, I am in the moon. Aha, uh -huh, yes. We were talking about countries and nationalities, right? And we were talking about the different uses of the sentences, right? When you say, I am from, and you can say, I am from El Salvador, I am from San Salvador, I am from Apopa, I am from Mexicanos, right? I am from Aguachapan. You can use it with the cities as well, but with the nationalities, you don't say, I am from, you say, I am. I am Salvadorian, I am Russian, Canadian, Chilean, et cetera, et cetera, right? You have uh, this specific use. So this is what we were talking about in the previous class. Thank you very much, Mr. Lionel, for reminding us about it. Yes, and indeed, we were checking, right? I have here the examples of the things that we were doing, right? The nationalities and the countries. And we were checking on the use of a affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms of the verb to be, right? And for sure, we were practicing some sentences, right? The last thing that we did was the conversation, right? And they were talking about um, photographs, right? They were talking about photographs and it says, who's that? Uh, he's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James, we call him Jim. Uh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Right. So we were practicing this. And we were talking a little bit about the different numbers, right? For these ones, we need to be very uh, careful because of the intonation of the numbers, right? We need to be very careful. 
because this part of the numbers, at least from here up to here, they have a specific pronunciation. I'm going to raise this one and I will make a square like this one from here to here. And we have to be very careful not to confuse them with all of this, right? And also with this one, because when we are pronouncing them, the stress of the numbers is at the end, right? This one, it goes right in the stressing, the stress part of the, of the word is this one. You say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? The stress goes here. But in these ones, the other ones that we have marked here, the stress goes at the beginning and you say 30, right? You don't say 13 because it can be very confusing. This one is 40 and this one is 14. So the stress goes in the second form. This one is 50, 50, right? 60, 70, 80, 90. And in this one you say 17, 18, 19, right? It's very, you need to be very careful because it is not the same that you tell me, teacher, I am 18, that you tell me, teacher, I'm 80 or 18. So we'll be like, what? Are you 18 or 80, right? You say 18, the stress goes in the second form. And in this one is 80, right? It goes in the first one. La fuerza de voz aquí va al final y aquí va al principio. So if you read this one, so you have here that it's 11, right? This one, 11 is normal, right? It doesn't change that much. To say 11, 12, 12 with the V sound here, say 12. The next 12. one you have 13, 13, 13, and it goes up. 14, can you practice with me? 13. 13. 14. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 16. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. 20. 20. 20. Don't say 20, okay? It's 20. 20. 20. 20. 21. 20. 21. 27, 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 200 and then 300, 400, 500, etc., etc., etc. Good. Okay, let's see. Let's continue here. So I was asking you the same question How old are you? And you were telling me, I am 23, 24, 35, 36, 41, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? And you were telling me the different ages. Let's see, just to give one example, Mr. Lionel, how old are you? Uh, 
I am uh, 26. I am 26, you say. That's the question. How old are you? It is not how are you, right? How are you is like, I am fine, thank you, right? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? And you say, I am, and then you complete with the number, right? René Bagaña, how old are you? I have 24. 34. I am, I am. I am 24. Okay. En, en español es bien común que digamos, I have. Y que digamos, ah, tengo 15, tengo 17, tengo 18. Pero en inglés no decimos I, am, I have, decimos I am. Ok. Eh, si lo traducimos, okay. es como yo soy tantos años de vida, right? But if you say I have, in English it's I, I have 37. Look, miren los 37 que tengo. <laughs> right, you cannot do that. <laughs> so you say I am, I am 37. Uh, Mr. Victor Loza, how are how old are you? How are you? I was going to say. I am uh, 36. Years 36, old. right? 36. Mr. Wilfredo, how old are you? I am 39. How old are you? 39. How old are you? How old are you? Catherine Nunez, how old are you? Catherine Nunez, how old are you? How old? I am. Eight. 23. No, we're here. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. 20. 23. 3. 23. Edward, how old are you? I am 26. 26. Delia, how old are you? I am 26. The microphone, sweetie. Delia, your microphone. I am 37. 37, right? El misterio de la vida nos estaba diciendo. Alexis, how old are you? I am 21. 21. Estreberto, how old are you? I am 24. 24. Álvaro, how old are you? Uh, 23. 23, right? Manuel, how old are you? I'm 30 years old. 30, right? 30 sharp. Good. Very good. So those that's the form of uh, the use that we give to these sentences. You're going to use it in a moment. You will see. So let me see here. In this one, as I have the first question here with how old are you, we have different forms of questions with the verb to be. Like, what is your name? Where are you from? How are you today? Who's that? So imagine if I say, hey, students, who's that boy with the hat and the pictures at the back? Who's that boy with a hat and some pictures at the back? It's it's Victor. Victor. He's Victor, right? He's Victor. And what is the relationship that you have with Victor? Is he your brother? What is the relationship? Say he is my uh -huh. partner. Bless me. My he partner. Is my brother. My brother. <laughs> He's my brother. <laughs> He's my brother. He's my classmate. With, He's my partner. With Rene, with Rene Magaña, we are co-workers. Oh, so he's my co-worker, right? He's my co-worker. So that is the relationship that you have with the person. How old is he? How old is Victor? He told us some minutes ago. No, dijo hace unos minutos. How old is Victor? 40. 40. Yeah. <laughs> Don Victor. 36. 36, <laughs> right? He's 36. 36. Don Victor de 40. <laughs> uh, and here we have, who are they? This is the questions. And if you can see here, the differences are the following. This one is for personal information, right? It's about you. This one is about a second person, he or she. And this one is about a third person, right? Who are they? Where are they from? What's real like, right? That's about something different. But when you say, who are they? It's like, ¿quiénes son ellos? It's a plural thing. But if I say, who's that? ¿Quién es él o quién es ella, right? How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene él o ella? But if I say, how old are them? It's for the plural. And 
And these ones are for personal information. What's your name? Where are you from? How are you today? The difference on this one. How are you today? It's one thing. How are you? It's another question. And how old are you? It's another question. So don't confuse them. <laughs> Victor is in a car right now. It's not in the in the house anymore. Good, very good. So in if that, that's very good. Yeah, I like that one. That's one of my favorites. In the question, what's he like? We are not going to say uh, he is good, he is bad. No, what's he like? You are describing the person. How is the personality of the person? How is the appearance of this person? Uh, what's he like? He's very nice, he's very intelligent, very participative. He is very uh, sociable, very talkative. So in this one, the question, what's he like? You are describing a person with different adjectives for him or her. If I say, what's El Salvador like? What will be your adjectives for the country? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What else? Interesting. It's interesting, right? It's interesting. Is it big or small? It's small. It's a small, right? It's a small, it's beautiful, oh, oh, it's amazing, oh. it's interesting, it's colorful, uh, it is very warm, warm with uh, like the people that lives here, right? In this one, you are referring to a specific place. So let me go to the examples that I have for this one. I have here, okay. On this one, we need to be very careful. Why we say like, what's your name? You use the verb to be in the form of is, right? What is your name? Where are you from? Porque aquí tenemos la forma de you, tenemos que ocupar are. How are you today? Okay, tenemos you, ocupamos are. If I say, who's that? This is singular. Recuerden que that lo ocupamos para los singulares. Tenemos que ocupar is antes que esto. How old is she? Or how old is he? Tenemos is porque aquí tenemos he or she. What is he like? It's the same. What's he like? The use of is because we have here. Who are they? Si tenemos un plural aquí, vamos a ocupar obviamente la forma de are para complementar esa oración. Where are they from? You say they, it's plural. Who are they? Where are they from? Are. What is real like? Porque tenemos is aquí. What is real like? Because it's a place, right? Because it's a place and we're talking about real. Good. Let's use the examples then. Okay. Basado en esto, vamos a completar los siguientes ejemplos. And here we go. If I have this, this information, and the answer of this question is, I think his name is Shen Ku. What is the question for this one? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta entonces? Who is that? Aha, but if you have in the answer, I think his name is Shen Ku, ¿cuál sería la pregunta que estamos haciendo? Mm. What his name? What is his name? Very good. What's his name? What is his name? I think his name is Shen Ku. Shen Ku. And we have on the answer, he is from China. What is the question that we have here? ¿Qué pregunta nos hace falta aquí entonces? Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is, is he it? from? Very good. Where is he from? from. Oh. Very good, because in the answer we have, he is from China. Si aquí tenemos, where is he from? Y en la respuesta tenemos, he is from China. Vamos a necesitar la pregunta de, de dónde es esa persona. And in this one, si en la respuesta tenemos, I am from Turkey, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? I am from Turkey. Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh are you from Turkey? Okay, in this one, if you say, are you from Turkey? Diríamos, yes, I am. Porque estaríamos respondiendo a una pregunta de si, ¿no? Si le pusiéramos, are you from Turkey? 
ok, aquí nos tendría que afirmar okay. la segunda Oops. persona si le ponemos esto are you from Turkey la respuesta tendría que ser yes, I am from Turkey yes, I am Ajá. Yes, I am. because this one is for a yes, no pero si decimos where are you from es una information question que nos va a dar la información en la respuesta where are you from I am from Turkey, from Istanbul. And in the answer here you have, las, la respuesta de esto es, Istanbul is very old and beautiful. ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que hacer para obtener esta respuesta? What is Istanbul like? Exactly like that. What, okay, I'm going to go here. What is Istanbul like? Ah, you say Istanbul is very old and beautiful. Como la pregunta que les hice yo de What is El Salvador like? El Salvador is beautiful, it's interesting, colorful, amazing, etc. And the last one you have here. Para esta respuesta, my last name is Erdogan. What will be the question? ¿Qué pregunta tendríamos que hacer para obtener esta respuesta? What is your last name? What, what is your last name? Excellent. What is your last name? Right? What is your last name? My last name is Erdogan. If I ask you the questions, imagine that I ask, let me see. I ask Ronnie. Ronnie, where are you from? Uh, I am... I am Costa Rican. Okay, you're, are you Costa Rican? For real? Where are you from? Porque ganaron. patria. Por el árbitro. La oveja negra. La oveja negra. Ok, ok. <clears throat> Vamos a hacer de caso que no preguntamos eso. Vamos a volver a preguntarle. <clears throat> Ronnie. Where are you from? I am. Uh -huh. I am from uh, Turkey. No, <laughs> okay, from Turkey. That's okay. It's better. It's better than Costa Rica. <laughs> it's better from. It's better than from Costa Rica. That's okay. I am me from perdí, Turkey. Me perdí, me perdí, me perdí, no, ¿De dónde es originalmente? Yo, yo le veo cara de costarricense. Vamos a ver si es cierto. No. Where no, are you so, from? So, so, soy español. Soy español. <laughs> I'm American. I'm American. You say I am from El Salvador. Let's see. Um, Mr. Wilfredo, what is your last name? What is your last name? Mr. Wilfredo? Perdón, what? no escuché. What is your last name? Eh, Hernández. Excellent. My last name is Hernandez. Very good. Let's continue practicing. Vamos a practicar en las siguientes. I think I have another one here. Good. And it says, Hi, John. And in the answer you have, I am just fine. I am just fine. What is the question that you need for that answer? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que necesitamos para que yo les responda, I am just fine? How are, How are you? How are you? Right? Como la que yo le hago todos los días al iniciar la clase. How are you? How are you? I am just fine. You can say, I am fine. I am great. I am excellent. I am marvelous. I am amazing. I am so, so, you can say. I am so, so. I am like, um, uh, very well. Okay, very well. Uy, very well. So, those are the answers that you can have for the question, how are you? Para que no solo me digan, good. Me pueden decir, I am fine, I am great, I am excellent, I'm marvelous, I am amazing, I'm so, 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 so. Very well. And it's like, ah, ideas en que solo decimos, It could be better. Podría estar mejor. <laughs> It could be better. 
Pero más allá de todo, si están respirando, si tienen salud, casa, techo, you are great. You are excellent. Okay? Si tienen visitantes como los que yo tengo aquí en mi clase, we are just fine. You see? I am going to show you my visitor. Come here. Come, come, come. I am going to show you the visitors of my class. Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's always here listening. She's always here learning English. There you go. So you see, we are just fine. Yeah. Si alguien aprendió inglés ya, es ella. <laughs> She's always here. So, if I ask you, how are you? I am excellent. I am great. I am amazing, right? I am marvelous. And in this one, it says, my friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Carolina? I don't know her. And then you have in the answer, she is really pretty and very smart. ¿Qué pregunta necesitamos aquí? What is she like? Ajá, but we have a specific form of question. Okay, déjenme ir a pasear a las preguntas de vuelta. Ajá, you say, what's, she, what's he like? So in this one, if you have Carolina, we are going to say here, uh, what's, what's she, she like? She's really pretty and very smart. Como es ella? Right? And it's not the song, right? Como es ella? She's very pretty and really smart. And the last answer that we have, she is 18 years old. What is the question for this one? ¿Qué pregunta nos hace falta aquí? Si le puedo decir. Ajá. How old is she? How old is she? She is 18 years old, right? How old is she? She is 18 years old. So, let me see. Here. In this one, I have a little collection of adjectives. Adjectives are words that you use to describe people in personality and in appearance, right? And here we have a couple of them. And I am going to move it here. I have white skin. White skin sería un adjetivo que usamos para describir apariencia, porque lo podemos ver, right? That the person has white skin. That the person has brown hair, right? That the hair... The color of the hair is brown, right? She has brown hair. Y eso también es de appearance. That a person is tall, alto, right? Tall también es de appearance porque lo podemos ver. Que una persona es short. Short es el opuesto a tall. Tall, short. Okay. Handsome. Handsome es solo para los hombres. Y también es de apariencia, right? Appearance. Handsome. No podemos decir que una lady is very handsome. No. Para una chica o vamos a ocupar otro que ya les voy a enseñar. Quiet. Este es para personalidad. Porque no podemos darnos cuenta si una persona es quiet or not. Porque a mí si me ven de repente en la calle... Ustedes dicen, ah, she's very quiet. Uh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then when I start talking, it's like, oh, no, she's not very quiet, right? <laughs> okay, pero si me vieran de repente y estoy seria, es así como, you say, oh, she's very quiet. No, darling, I am not. <laughs> so, chubby. And this is also appearance. Do you know the meaning of chubby? No. Chavi, it's a very Salvadorian adjective that means gordito, rellenito, right? Mm. Chavi, right? Chavi. That you don't say fat because fat in some cases it's very offensive. And people must say like, eh, me dijo gordo, come on. Mm. El que. So tal vez le puede decir gordo de, hola gordo, but no gordo de. <laughs> no es lo mismo que le diga, hola gordo, a que le diga, Gordo, vení para acá. <laughs> like, oh, come on. <laughs> so, chavi. That's gordito, rellenito, right? Chavi. Friendly. Friendly is personality. Because you cannot actually know that if a person is friendly or not. Porque a todos cuando nos miran la primera vez, 
It's like, yo creí que era bien serio vos. And no, and maybe you are very friendly, but maybe on the first sight, you cannot see. A little. A little es un intensifier que podemos ocupar con los verbos. A little, un poquito. A little intelligent. Or you can say, really intelligent, right? Really es otro intensifier que le podemos poner a los verbos. Really intelligent, right? And this is also for personality. Organized, también es de personalidad. Organizado, right? Ordenado. The next one that we have here. Let me move it. Uh, that a person has brunette skin. Brunette skin es piel morena. Right? Y eso sí es de apariencia, porque sí lo podemos ver que tiene piel morena. Dark hair, como Wilfredo, que tiene el pelo oscuro. Right? Dark hair. A little tall. Un poquito alto. A little tall. And the verb intelligent. Here you have sociable. Sociable. ¿Qué, es el, ¿Qué significa este? Sociable. Sociable. Es bien sociable. Right? Yo creo que aquí entramos todos los salvadoreños. We are very sociable. Sociable at all. It's like, no, ya no voy a hablar con nadie en el bulla, no, ya no más. Qué calor va usted. <laughs> and then you start talking and talking and talking about everything. About everything. We are very talkative. We are very talkative. Aquí hasta el más callado habla, definitivamente. In El Salvador, everybody talks. The other one you have is serious. Serious is the opposite of talkative. And it's an adjective for personality. Rich can be for appearance and for personality because you can be talking about food and it looks rich. Okay. Si ve un pedazo ahí de pollo de cualquiera de su preferencia, se dice, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. ah, it's very rich, very delicious. But a person can also look like rich. Okay. If a person is there in a Lamborghini or he's driving a fantastic car or he's dressed in a very well um, form, or he looks that he is, has a lot of money, so he looks rich. Famous, it's also for personality. Popular, angry. Angry, it's a very common adjective in El Salvador too. Angry. Aquí aplican todas las mamás del mundo. Angry. Y aquí también. Very strict. Okay. Angry is like uh, enojado. Be careful because angry is one thing. Y hungry, it's another thing. Okay. Hungry is hambriento. Hungry. Angry is enojado. Okay. But uh, it's very common. Si está angry, tal vez está hungry. O es el opuesto. Si todas las chicas se enojan, primero pruebe por el factor comida. Quizás solo tiene hambre. Yeah. Tip para todos los caballeros de este lugar. Anoten. <risa> para todos los chicos de esta sala. Sí, a veces la chica solo está hambrienta, no es que esté enojada. Que vos por todo te enojas y quizás la niña tiene hambre. We never know. Very strict. Ok, let me see. Manuel, no, I think you don't have kids, right? ¿Tienes no. hijos, Manuel? No. Will, Wilfredo? Escucha, yes. Do you have kids, little children? ¿Tienes hijos? Sí. Okay. Dos. Are you very strict? Más o menos. <laughs> Más o menos. Okay, very strict. Let me see. Delia, do you have kids? <coughs> Where are you? Do you have kids? Kids, children, babies? Yes. How One. many? One. Are you very strict? Yes. Are you very strict? <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you? Are you very strict? Strict means estricta. Are you very strict? Or no? 
Uh, I am, yes. <laughs> okay, I am, yeah. That you see, all the mothers in El Salvador. Aplica para todas las madres del mundo. Yeah. <laughs> you are not very strict. Let me see. Who else do I have here? I creo que ya no tengo más madres de familia aquí. No, Helen? No, right? You don't yeah. have kids. Oh, you have kids? One. <laughs> One. Are you very strict? No. Okay. Yeah, I, I am very strict. <laughs> yeah, Alexander sabe nada más. Solo le digo. Alexander. <laughs> He's a good again. <laughs> yeah, I am very strict. But Helen is a cool mother, I can see. Let me see. Let's continue here. We have white hair. If a person has white hair. Disorganized disorganized it's desordenado right disorganized happy sporty sporty means that you love to exercise and that you are in shape and everything que hace mucho ejercicio que está muy en forma y todo eso es sporty the next one helpful que ayuda right helpful es una persona que siempre está muy atenta a ayudar active that you're always moving and doing things Kind, amable. Loyal, mm, kind. Leal, fiel. The next ones that we have here, let's see. Good hearted is the buen corazón. Just give me one second. Okay, the next one. Thing, delgadito. Fat. Gordito, gordo, gordito. In shape. En buena forma. En forma. forma. Good looking. Atractivo. Atractivo, bien parecido, right? Good looking es para ambos, para chicas y chicos. Attractive, it's attractivo, right? Beautiful. Bonita. And this is for the girls, right? Handsome is for the boys. Beautiful is for the girls. Pretty, it's also eh, linda, linda, bonita, right? Pretty. Amazing, fantástico, right? Beautiful. Eh, it's like great. Big. Grande. Grande, but that's for objects, okay? Más que todo para objetos. Small. Mediano. Eh, no, chiquito. Pequeño. Pequeño. Shy. Shy means... Eh, eh, Como tímido. tímido, right? Tímido. It, it's a very common thing in our country, right? Siempre si, si a usted le pasaba de repente que era el de eh, es que manda decir mi amigo qué, es que manda decir mi amiga qué. So you are shy. <laughs> you are the shy one. It's like no, no, I'm not gonna go on. Shy, smart, very. Smart, intelligent, right? Listo. That's the meaning of smart. Okay, so all of these ones are adjectives. If you can take one for you, what adjective would you take? Si pudieran tomar uno de estos adjetivos para ustedes mismos y decirme, teacher, I am, and you give me the adjective, which one will be? ¿Cuál tomarían? Rich. <laughs> I am rich. <laughs> rich. So you have a lot of money. Hey, that's good. That's right. good. Famous. Uh -huh. I am dark here. Uh -huh. When you say, okay. uh, I am, it's for uh, appearance, right? I am handsome. I am short. I am tall and, and everything. But when you talk about physical features like the hair, the eyes, or the skin, you say, I have. In oh this God. case, you say, I have green eyes. And I do have green eyes. Hey, that's good. I have green eyes. Or you can say, I have, I have dark hair. Pero si vamos a hablar de Personalidad, you say, I am shy, I am beautiful, I am, for a boy, you can say, I am handsome, 
okay, si un chico quiere decir eso. Si vamos a hablar de cosas físicas como el pelo, los ojos, la piel, la nariz, right? I have a big nose, I have a small nose, I have a big mouth, a small mouth, okay? decimos I have. Pero si vamos a hablar de, alguna, de algún adjetivo de personalidad, para describirnos, decimos I am shy, ¿ok? Porque no puedo decir I am green eyes, porque sería yo, yo soy ojos verdes, ajá. Pero en inglés tendría que ser yo tengo ojos verdes, ¿ok? Good. So, eh, let me see. Wilfredo, give me one adjective for you. Ocupe un adjetivo para describirse usted mismo. Uh -huh. I am. I am active. Active. Good. Very good. Edward. Uh, I am just coffee. I am. Can you repeat? I am. Uh -huh. a a coffee. Ah, I have. I have. I have. Okay. I have. Yo tengo. Y aquí no sería coffee, aquí sería I have brown I have brown brown eyes brown eyes, eyes. I have brown eyes I good have. excellent let me see eh, Manuel you told me I am rich <laughs> quisiera ser <laughs> okay I think everybody would right let me see well, give me another adjective for you I am quiet. I am quiet. Good. Very good. Helen? I am a little tall. I am a little tall. Good. Victor? I have brunette skin. I have brunette skin. Good. Catherine? I am shy. I am shy. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pamela? <laughs> I have brown hair. I have brown hair. Good, very good. Lionel? Uh, I am good here. Too. Good, good hearted. Good hearted. De buen corazón. Good. good. Delia, what is your adjective? I am. Very strict. Very strict. Very good. Ronnie, what is your adjective? I am sociable. I am sociable. Sociable. So sociable. René? Sociable. I am friendly. I am friendly. Estreberto, what is your adjective? I am tall. I am tall. Alexis? <clears throat> Alexis, what is your adjective? I am sociable. Sociable. ¿Cómo se dice? Sociable. Sociable. Good. Jacqueline, what is your adjective? I am smart. I am smart. <laughs> Álvaro? Smart TV. <laughs> smart TV. <laughs> Álvaro, what is your adjective? I am... Organized. Organized. I am organized. Very good. Excellent. So, this is something that we need to remember, ¿ok? Si vamos a hablar del cabello, de la piel, eh, de algún aspecto físico, I have. Si no, eh, de personalidad, I am. I am yeah. shy, beautiful, etc., etc., etc. Good. <clears throat> Let me see. Here you go. And in here... I have a short example of the different adjectives. You say, he's really tall, he's short, right? In this case that we have here. He's really tall and he's short, right? This one, he's short. Uh, she's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. It's like uh, un poco gordita. She's a little heavy. Uh, she's really friendly. They are good looking. Son bien parecidos. She's thin. He's handsome. She's pretty. He's quiet. Muy serio. She's talkative. 
She is serious. She is shy. And he is funny. Okay. Okay, so these are the adjectives that we have here. Can you repeat them with me? He is really tall. He's really tall. Really tall. Really tall. He's really short. He's short. 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 She's a little heavy. She's, She's a, a little, little, little heavy. 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 She's Being thin. Heavy. <laughs> She's, She's thin. thin. She's thin. He's handsome. He's handsome. She's, She's very pretty. She's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Pretty. Very pretty. pretty. They are good looking. They, they are good looking. Good looking. Good looking. He's quiet. He's, He's quiet. quiet. She's talkative. She's talkative. She's serious. She's, she's serious. serious. He's funny. He's, he's funny. funny. She's shy. She's shy. She's shy, right? She's shy. Era el típico shy. caso de mi amiga manda decir qué. And then you receive the message, right? Very good. So here I have a specific information. This is a collection of questions that we have learned so far. Esta es una colección de todas las preguntas que hemos venido practicando durante todos estos días. I have here, what is your name? What is your what last is name? Right? What is your last name? How do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? nationality? How are you today? How, How are, you are you today? What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? What, are your hobbies? what is your favorite animal? What, what is, is your favorite, favorite animal? animal? Favorite. 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 Okay, this is not favorite, okay? Por favor, no digamos favorite. Porque se muere el diccionario cuando decimos favorite. 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 Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? A pet, yeah. a pet is mascota, a right? Pet. Do you have a pet? Yeah. You what have... is your favorite food? What, what is your favorite food? Can you cook? Can you cook? Can you cook? Yes or no, right? Cook es yes. cocinar. Yes. Can you cook? Yes. Puedes cocinar. What is your cell phone number? What is, what is your, your cell phone number? number? What is your favorite subject? What, what, are you subject? what is the meaning of subject? Materia. Materia, right? Materia, materia. Aquí todos van a decir English. <laughs> what is your favorite color? What what is your, 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 okay, so in this one, um, okay, no la van a copiar, pero le pueden sacar un screenshot ahí. Take a screenshot of this one. Yes. Screenshot. Go ahead. Si no, siempre salgo con los ojos cerrados. Screenshot. <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> screen. Good. And what we are going to do with this is that we are going to answer them, okay? Para que no las copien todas, pero sí les necesito que las contesten. What is your name? En una forma completa y e correcta. Okay. Yes. You are going to say... My, my name. last my name. name. Ah, my, my name. name. My name, sorry. My name. My name, my name is... Is... is y ahí le ponen su nombre. My name is... What is your last name? You say, my last my name last is... Name. Okay. How do you spell your name? And you say, it's... Y aquí vamos oh. poniendo para letra para por letra. Señal. Okay. It's... Y ahí ponen las, las letras. How old are you? I am... I am... Years old. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are, Where are you from? 
I am from. Y vamos a poner ahí su país de origen. I'm from. Y si son de Rusia, pues I am from Russia. Um, What is yeah. your nationality? I am. And you give the name of the nationality. I am Salvadorian. I am Salvadorian, right? How are you today? Y aquí tienen todas las opciones que les di hace poco. I am. Y ahí van a decir I am good, bad, so, yeah, so excellent. What are your hobbies? In this one, you say I like, and then like you give me the answer. To play. I like to play soccer. I like to read. I like to play soccer. Right. I like Better to read. De la I like to Costa watch. Rica. I like to watch sports on TV. I like to play soccer. I like to watch videos. I like to use the social media. What are your hobbies, right? I like to go to the beach. Good. What is your favorite animal? And in this one you say, my, my favorite, favorite, my favorite animal is? My favorite, my favorite animal dog. is a uh, dog. The dog, okay? My favorite animal is the dog. My favorite dog. animal is my the cat. My favorite animal is the dog. Excellent, very good. Do you have a pet? You say, yes, I have. And then you tell me what? You say, yes, I have a cat or yes, I have a dog. I have a dog, etc. A parrot. a parrot, right? I have a, a parrot. parrot. And I found it. Oh, really? Where? It's for myself. Oh, I, was, well, I, was, uh -huh. I was walking and I found it in the street. Oh, it's so cute. Yo creo que él lo encontró a usted. Yeah, yes. so that's very nice. And is it's... it small or big? Oh, no, it is it is a little a little bit. Oh it's a, it's a parrot. Oh, it's so cute. Perico. Take care of it. Son bien fieles, yes. así que cuídelo mucho. I found it around one year and two months ago. Oh, that's so nice. So, I think uh -huh. he found he found you. Cada vez que uno encuentra un animalito, en realidad no es uno el que lo encuentra, sino que ellos lo encuentran a uno. That's very nice. Yeah. La vida se los regalo. That's so cute. And it says, <clears throat> on the contrary, you say, no, I don't. Si no tenemos, pues, no, I don't. Por diferentes razones de la vida. What is your favorite food? And in this one, you say, I like... And you say pizza, pupusas, tamales, whatever thing that you like. Can you cook? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Sí, yeah, 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 ya casi. En cinco minutos se van a dormir. No tengan fe. Ah, sí, yo tengo sueño. Okay, good. What is your cell phone number? And you say, my number is or my cell phone number is my cell phone number, number is, is and then you give me the number okay ahí me pueden dar uno falso porque pues si sí, vea esto queda grabado my cell phone number is and what is your favorite subject and you say my favorite subject is and mm. then you tell me English, <laughs> English, English with teacher Nati. English, mathematics, science, social studies, Spanish, uh, accounting. I don't know which one that you like. And what is your favorite color? And you say, my favorite color is. And then here you have pink, black, fuchsia, turquoise. My favorite, my favorite. color is. Yeah. Uh, in green green okay pero no decimos favorite decimos favorite 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 My favorite color is green very good job very good. very good job that's the correct pronunciation okay así que ahorita porfa todos write the answers go ahead write your answers ahorita todos 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 a escribir sus respuestas solo las respuestas no las preguntas okay Go ahead. Only the answers. Okay, only the answers. Only the answers.
Thank you for the screenshot that Victor sent in the chat. Yeah, I love my picture. That's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Victor. <laughs> ya puedo vender screenshots con esa imagen. Y producto. <laughs> yeah, Victor eh, envió las preguntas al chat para que todos las tengan. Teacher, yes. en la tercera. Eh, no, no how, do you, how do you spell your name? Oh, my name is Nati. N-A-T-Y. In your case, how do you spell your name? R-O-N-Y. ¿Cómo lo deletreas? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And is Aroldo o Arnoldo? Aroldo. Ah, oh, so you see, that's a, an spelling problem. Ese sí sería un problema de spelling, ¿verdad? Que todo el mundo le pone Arnoldo. Yeah, sí. it happens. No sé si yeah. se equivocaron en la alcaldía o... Ok. <laughs> yes, Katherine. Uh, it's okay to say, I spell, I spell my name like... Exactly like uh, that. K-A-T-H, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good. It's a little bit longer, but it's good. Te sale un poco más larga la respuesta, right? I spell it like, y das todas las letras. Or it's this, 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 and this. Okay. Good. Any other question? Aprovechen ahora. Porque esto lo van a usar mañana. Pronunciation, information, anything. La número 14 que dijo que era. What yeah. is your favorite subject? ¿Cuál es tu materia favorita? In this case, you can say, you can have, for example, right? You can say science, ciencias. ¿Cuál es o cuál era? Right? Science. English, <clears throat> obviously. English, math, uh, uh, Spanish. Spanish is como el lenguaje que tenemos. Um, social studies. Uh, art. PE, que es physical education. Creo que a nadie le gustaba PE, but anyway. Aquí pueden escoger cualquiera de esas. Science, English, Math, Spanish, Social Studies, Art, PE, eh, Accounting. No sé quién le gusta todavía, but it can be. Accounting, Contaduría, right? Or any other one. Drawing, Typing. All of these ones. Esa es like materia. Like. Any other question? In the can you cook, you can say yes. My special dish is. Y ahí me pueden decir su especialidad. <laughs> My special dish is. <laughs> Maruchan. <laughs> Can you cook? Yes, it's like my special dish is. And then you answer, right? <clears throat> ¿Cuál es su especialidad al momento de cocinar? If you tell me tamales, well, that's my respect because they have a big process. My special dish is pupusas. Huh? That's a big process to make pupusas. It is not just like that. Hello. If you say boiling water, <laughs> solo agua hervida, it's okay. I understand. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? ¿Y por qué les pedí que escribieran sus respuestas? Porque el día de mañana necesito que practiquen sus respuestas y practiquen las preguntas, porque vamos a trabajar en grupos. Y en los diferentes grupos nos vamos a 
presentar y nos vamos a hacer preguntas. Y en los grupos, por ejemplo, vamos a estar tres, cuatro personas en cada grupo. Y ahí nos vamos a hacer preguntas. Vamos a estar, por ejemplo, eh, Wilfredo, how old are you? What is your favorite color? Eh, can you cook? Eh, what is your favorite animal? Do you have a pet? Y nos vamos a hacer preguntas así a quemar ropa y tienen que estar bien buzos con la respuesta. ¿Ok? Así sí. que no, no se me vayan a confundir con las respuestas. Practiquen las preguntas, practiquen las respuestas. For you to have it. Ahí no van a tener tiempo de leer el cuaderno para contestar. Ok. So that is going to be tomorrow. I need you to practice. Ok, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class and for us to continue learning English. Ok. Have a beautiful night and prepare for tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. And I'm good going night. to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good bye. Good Have a very good evening. Bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs>